Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, so. This is uh, now Die Hard Trilogy. Or I'm sorry, this is. Di hang on. Uh, <laughs> full screen? Yeah. Where is that? Bottom, bottom middle. Oh, okay, we moved it. All right, this is Die Trilogy Hard. Yes. For the PS1. <laughs> yeah, now it's Die Hard Trilogy. Um, I haven't played this. Can you tell me about this game? Well, it is a. Uh, it's kind of like an arcade style game. Um, where you play the three movies, and each movie is a different kind of uh, game. So the first one's like a third person shoot 'em up. Second one, uh, well, oh, they have all the oh, duh. Yeah, yeah the yeah, second okay. one, as you can see, is a rail shooter, uh, which actually I think used to be compatible with the light gun. I think I remember playing this with the light gun. And the third one is like a driving one. Okay, I don't have the PS One light gun, so I have one, but I don't think it would work on these TVs. Okay, anyway. we could play on that, but yeah, I, I don't have one on me. Is what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I have it at the office, actually. I totally forgot I even owned it until I p was watching. I'm like, oh, yeah, I own the light gun. Thanks again, Baldy Bloke, by the way. I appreciate that. Yes. Now, have uh, you seen some of my emotes? We have some, like... <laughs> the Chip and Dale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chip and Dale. It's pretty funny. Um, so I love this game. Uh, this is... When I think of Christmas, I think of me playing this every Christmas. Yeah. All right, so you know the, uh, the, the whole debate is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I, well, there's the same kind of debate for, like, uh, Gremlins, right? Is yeah. it a horror movie or is yeah, it, yeah. like, a Christmas movie? But for movie? some reason, people get more anal about Die Hard. They're, like, they're real insistent that, obviously, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and that's the answer, and don't argue with me. Um, but, but I want to know... Well, is, is, uh, is the counter-argument that it's an action movie first and a Christmas movie second? Look, there's a video coming up where they're gonna we're going to get more into this. Okay. We'll leave that for that. But I want to know today, is Die Hard Trilogy a Christmas game? Because I say yes. Because I grew up playing this every oh, single Christmas. Oh, the game. Christmas. The yeah. game. Yeah. Well, the movie, yeah, yeah. But I no one's argued his Die Hard Trilogy a Christmas game yet. So I want to know what the chat thinks. I want to know what you think. I think this is a very Christmas game. I think that game. I need to see the game, and then I can determine. Okay. I can't determine yet. I haven't played it. So. Okay. Just wanted to set that up. I want everyone to keep that in mind. That's what we're going to figure out. <laughs> is this, okay. Let us know if you see any Christmassy stuff in this yeah, game. Yeah, as we go th through this, let us know if you think this is an action game. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas So game. far, we got helicopters in New York City. So far, this is starting okay, okay. action. Die Hard 3 did not take place on Christmas. That one is optional. But okay. the Die Hard 1 and 2 segments okay. are very Wait, is this Is this Die Hard 1? That's Die Hard 3. It's, it was just trying to okay. load. We need to do Die Hard 1. Die Hard 1. We're going to okay. start with 1. This game is so good. You're right. And this is something funny I was showing you. When you select the levels, they all talk. You're supposed to stay in your seats until the plane reaches the terminal. I love that until guy. Until the plane reaches the terminal. Now that's Bruce yeah. Willis, right? Yeah. You surprise me again, McLean. That's Jeremy Irons. I don't like to lose. I don't think he said that at Die Hard 2. Happy trails. Happy trails. Oh, they're just taking it from the movie? It, it's a guy pretending to be uh, it. okay. Yeah, it's not the original voice. Okay. Guy. I know Jeremy Irons' voice. Me and him have the same birthday. Me, me, him, and Adam West have the same birthday, and we were all in Batman movies, because we're all cool. I don't think I have the same birthday as anybody, like, too famous. I want to look it up. Ugh. Let's see if I have the same birthday as anybody. Uh, my girlfriend's is easy to remember. She's the same day as Elvis and David Bowie, and she's obsessed with both of them. January 8th? Yep. We have an Elvis shelf at our house now. I need to say, I have several Elvis yeah. shelves. <laughs> <laughs> this, this opening cutscene's great. It looks just like the, the movie. All right, and then you get to this. So like I said, this is a third person uh, shooter. And basically you're going up the levels of Nakatomi Tower. Okay. And just trying Seems to- Seems like you got, a good idea. You gotta save hostages. Is that Pac-Man on the ground? Maybe. <laughs> you gotta save hostages, kill terrorists, you know, the usual stuff. To press L1 and R1 to do the shittiest strafe function in any game. Kate Winslet, Bernie Mac. Wait, what? My oh. birthdays that are on my birthday. <laughs> uh, oh, Kate Winslet, Bernie Mac. There you go. Yeah, that's it. I was saying if there was any more that I. I don't know any of those other people. Yeah, I, don't, I know. Yeah. All right. All right. What the hell? No, new game. Finding. The... Oh, here we go. <laughs> so this is funny because like, this is the beginning of the level, but. Bruce Willis is already, uh, his shoes are already off. Oh, no, I guess he, Well, he didn't start off in the, the parking garage. This game is already not accurate. But I think this is very Christmassy so far. This looks like some of the stages well, look, from look, Superman look, look, 64, look, actually. Look, 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 that car's green, that car's red. That's Christmas. 
You can't oh tell me god. that's not Christmas. Oh my god. That motorcycle's red. Okay. And uh Look, that one's blue. There's even a little Hanukkah. Red and there. white can <laughs> red and white candy canes. Red, red and white, white candy canes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so far I'm going with you. <laughs> Look, like uh, you know, Christmas, you know, that's a time where you know where the world, you know, unites and all these terrorists are all from all different kinds of countries. So, you know, everyone's uniting. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> get him. Is this game hard? Uh, it can get hard. Yeah. Are, is there difficulty settings? Are we playing on, like, easy? No, I don't think there's difficult. Nah. Okay. I like that it shows you, like, your body getting shot from Yo, can you go in that truck and get, like, weapons and shit? Yeah, there is a weapon in there, but I'm a little packed. This is from the movie, the fake ambulance they show up in. Or they try to escape in. I do have... Wait, turn around, turn around, turn around. But with two, two sets of green and red. Oh, colors. yeah, there you go. Look, two red and green. Two sets of them. Come on. You can't tell me that's not Christmas. <laughs> it's it's so Christmassy. Have you, I played this before? I have not played this before. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I haven't played it. <laughs> Look, we're saving this guy. There's a Die Hard. Um, there's another like uh, Die Hard game on. Is there one on uh, there's like, one on cast or something? Or uh, um, what am I thinking of that? There's another. Die Hard. No, Die Hard trilogy was on a couple different uh, consoles. Okay, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking of one that's not on PS One. Yeah, this was on, like, Sega Saturn. I think it might have been on PSC. Okay. There's a Die Hard Trilogy 2, which was, like, based on made-up sequels that don't exist. There's a Japanese Die Hard game on the PC Engine? Really? That's cool. There's a there's an arcade game, Die Hard, where, like, you're John McClane and some blonde chick who's never in the movies, or blonde dude. I played it at a uh, Barcade a few years ago. I'm like, what is this? I've never heard of this. And, of course, there's a famous one on N NES that everyone knows. Sure. All right, now we got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> look, look at that. That's that's a gift. That is a present. He, he opened up a package. I played Grand Theft Auto V mod, and yeah. at one time I played it as Santa Claus, and he had a machine gun. Christmassy. It's so Christmassy. What is the deal with these elevator signs just hanging in midair? Uh, it's because uh, at some point there's going to be a bomb on the elevator, so you need to, like, know where to go. These red and white signs that are once again like candy canes like candy canes exactly what do you guys think uh what do you guys think if this is if this is anything like uh christmas or what do you think or do you think this is more uh, okay i'm gonna be serious for a second yeah. there's, there's been nothing christmas what i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> mike it's so christmasy and i don't like that you're trying is there anything that's actually christmas in this you're not you're not gonna the, the font is green <laughs> The map is green and the dots and lights like le and the dots are like lights. Well, on it the legitimately tree. takes place on Christmas, though, right? Yes. So Christmas there you Eve. Go. Yeah. That's about all we got. So far. <laughs> I think I left one hostage not saved in that previous level, but eh, whatever. <laughs> the, the death screams of this game are so good. I... Oh, Die Hard Arcade. Is that different? You yeah, that might be the one that I was talking about. Oh, okay, that's what I, I that's what I was thinking about. I mean, there, I played a Die Hard arcade game. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking of. Okay, I can't go in this way because that guy, I'm totally going to shoot this hostage yeah. on accident. yippee ki motherfucker. He's got to say that in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, he, said, he doesn't say motherfucker. He goes, yippee ki <laughs> He doesn't do it as well. Actually, open up the uh, the case. Okay. If I open this up and it just says yippee ki motherfucker, I'll be really happy. Okay, what are you saying? yippee ki <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, my God. Yo, 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 it does. Yeah, yeah, Hold on, I gotta show that. Uh, full screen, yeah. bottom. Yippee ki yay, and then it's censored. Yeah, but it's it's basically me. says it. <laughs> That's funny. It's like Hubert. Oh, uh, yeah, you're back. <laughs> Can't use any of my grenades yet, actually. Three maximum adventures. One explosive package. Yeah. Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. They ever make a game out of any of the other Die Hard movies? Uh, no, they L just they, they put it all in this game. <laughs> they were like, you know what, just put it all in this one. Live Free or Die Hard for the Xbox One X. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't mind Live Free or Die Hard. It didn't feel too Die Hardy, but it's, it's a good, uh, oh yeah, that strafe is terrible. Is that the one with Mel Gibson? No, Mel Gibson's not in any of them. <laughs> Wait, what am I thinking of? What are you thinking? You're thinking of Expendables or something. Oh, uh, maybe I'm thinking of Expendables. Yeah. Mel Gibson was like in Expendables 3, I think? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking, never mind. <laughs> so I, I bailed out after Expendables 1. I'm I didn't thinking like of Expendables. 
Oh my god, if Mel Gibson was in an expect I like that you could see them coming. Don't let him get away. Oh my god, mowing him down. Yeah. <laughs> that guy called me a Yankee. Wait a second, you didn't see the Die Hard movie with Mel Gibson where he was the villain? <laughs> no, I would I have you were loved a fan. it. I would have loved it that happened. <laughs> They actually replaced uh, Bruce Willis with Mel Gibson. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm sorry. You know what I was thinking of? The what? Lethal Weapon movies. <laughs> I should have went to that joke first. John oh, yeah, the Die Hard 2 TV version. Yippee Kaye, Mr. Falcon. Oh, yeah, that one's great. Yippee Kaye, Mr. I've actually Falcon. seen that, yeah. Um... <laughs> What's his face? The guy who plays General Esperanza in that film is the original actor who played uh, Django in the Italian westerns. And he has a cameo in Django Unchained. He's the guy at the bar that uh, Jimmy Fox talks to. You are a human. God damn it. You are a human Wikipedia, are you not? Look, you like, hate that. <laughs> look, when I saw Django Unchained, I'm like, who is that old guy? I've seen him a million times. I'm like, oh, he's the guy from Die Hard 2. Can you play but look, look at this game over screen. It's like, hey, look how bad you failed. That's awesome. You actually. suck. I want to use it. Can we use that for the end of the video? <laughs> but this is also fucked up. Like, hey, look at all the hostages you didn't save. They're all dying now. It's like, Jesus Christ. I played this game when I was eight. McLean did well. And then, uh, Are you, you might dead? Yeah. You're dead. You might re remember this from... Uh, like, I mean, are there continues is what I mean. Uh, no, you start from oh, the you beginning start from once beginning. you die. Okay. But you remember this from, uh, I think Independence Day had a similar thing. Yes. Yeah, it's very similar, actually. Ass. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that they uh, follow you. It's like they're holding the... <laughs> yeah, they're like, holding the sign. <laughs> and like, like, they're doing the wave. Like, they're at a game. Like, ah! This is a sort of score attack game. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's weird. They're just all walking a circle. Yeah. Weird. So, ass did pretty well. All right, I think I gotta go. Okay. Give it a shot. Um, this is to shoot. Triangles to jump. These are to strafe. That's to move. And this is to throw your grenade. Okay. Make sure you don't hit this. It's uh, okay. so many times I played this game where I throw the grenade first and then oh, blow shit. myself. Do you up. only get one or something? You can collect. I think you start off with two, but you collect more as you go. Okay, uh, so X is fire. X is fire. Yeah. Okay. Triangle jump. And then to disarm... Is it D-pad or is it this? Uh, D-pad, I think. Okay. Unless maybe PS3 has... On PS1, I think it was just D-pad. Okay. Um, to walk into... Ob like, to collect objects or to disarm bombs or free hostages, you just walk into them. Okay. You don't have to, like, hit any buttons or anything. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. That's good. NYPD! No, it's, it's D-pad. Yeah. And then L1 and R1 is strafe, but the strafe is really bad. Okay. I think L2 and R2 is to roll. Like you roll to the side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah there okay. you go. Which I probably should have been doing more of. Yeah, it's like Dark Souls. You gotta roll. <laughs> if you don't roll in Dark Souls, you get. Everybody complains. <laughs> roll more, brah. <laughs> uh, the blue dots are hostages. So am I supposed to. Like, do I have to. Like these? Are those hostages? No, no, no. Those are bad guys. The hostages will be tied up and jumping up and oh, down. Okay. Oh, they're dead? Yeah. It's hard to tell if they're on yeah. the ground or not. Like, there's a hostage in there. Okay. I'll try. If you kill the guy outside the door and go in. And there's actually health in there, too. There's food throughout the game. This guy? Yeah. Oh, so, I, just, so, I just touch him. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, who's fucking firing There's the guy out the window. Oh, can they fire oh. through the thing? Yeah. Well, oh, you killed the hostage! Oh, oh, shit. I couldn't tell which one's... Which. <laughs> Is there a thing above their head or something that tells you? Or? No, you just see the blue dot oh, on your... shit. Uh, your map. Like, the blue dot's on a Christmas tree. Uh, oh, yeah. No. Okay. Give me that. Oh, can I take that? Or... Oh, no. Uh, some of the weapons you can collect. So like yeah, that? Yeah, you have that now. Okay, all right. Where's my health? Uh, the the shield, your your badge. Oh, <laughs> uh, my badge. All yeah. right. <laughs> well, I love how it's like an early PlayStation game. They can't fully render the area, so it's all black it until looks you walk so into that. So bad. <laughs> that reminds me of um. If you, have you ever played Silent Hill? I have not. Or ever seen that game? Yeah. That game, their way around that was to make it look like the town was covered in like. Uh, ash or snow. I didn't get a PS One until I was in college, mm. so I didn't. And, I, and even at that time, I was I didn't play it like a ton. Yeah. I played uh, like there was a few games that I played, but not like a Here, lot. Here, um, go go back. Yeah. Go into there. There's a couple hostages in this area that you can free. Here. Yeah. Like see the or not there. Go the the door down below. I played Symphony of the Night a lot. Also, like, there's weapons in the truck if you want. 
Yeah, yeah just get everything that's in this truck. The machine gun. The so how do I switch to it? I think it just does. Yeah, it does oh, it automatically. Does it? Okay. Yeah. So go through the door on this side. Oh, I see. okay. I see. Yeah. Now I'm looking. And at just the map just more. free free them. Collect all the other shit. Okay, her. Uh, go back and get that grenade. You gotta wait for it to, to okay. land. There. You know what? I wasn't paying much attention to the map, but yeah. to the radar now. Now I'll do that. Yeah, I, I tend to screw that up too when I replay. It takes me a while to get back into this, but yeah, every Christmas Eve I would just put this on and just play the shit out of it until my sister joined me. Oh, I don't have to touch them again. No, you kind of have to make sure they get out live, but I think you're... Oh, no, no, those are... Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. Occasionally, they send... I thought I had to go in that room. I thought they were in there. No, no. Occasionally, they'll send hostages down in the elevator. Okay. Sorry, this is the first <laughs> time I ever played this, so... That's fine. Yeah. I, uh... I, I still fuck up, but I've been playing this for over 20 years. Okay. I want to try... I actually like kind of like this. Yeah, it's not bad. I want to try this again. I think I pointed out to you when we were uh, testing it out that... It's not really 3D. Like, John McClane isn't really 3D. He's just, like, poly he's just like rectangles. And you can tell by his shadow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you so you had this game? Yes. Yeah. This is my original copy. Like, was... I still have a lot of my old PlayStation games. I never really got rid of anything. I wish I had my, like, old games. You know what it was? Oh, I... Jesus. I didn't know. You... Yeah, you Holy blow up shit. the cars. Yeah. I wanna do... I'm going to blow up Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you think I am, motherfucker? <laughs> All right. See, now I'm understanding it more. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you go with that elevator, because that's the bomb, and yeah. you go on it. And see, the bomb is on the okay. radar. There's a big, bright light that signals you to where the bomb is. Like Rudolph's nose. No, no, no. M much like the light that signaled the three kings to Jesus' manger. It's a Christmas game, guys. If this is a Christmas game, I refuse to... I, 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 it's a Christmas game. It's not. Why isn't it a Christmas game? Because there's nothing fucking Christmas uh, in Did it. you not just hear my comparison to the, <laughs> the Guiding Star? Well, you know what? I did say it was like Rudolph's nose, so I'm sorry. There you go. Yeah, it, it, it glows like Rudolph's nose. Apocalypse, that's the game. Oh, yeah, there is a game where you play as Bruce Willis called Apocalypse. I always wanted to try that one. I like how many people you get to murder. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, the Die Hard movie, I think Hans Gruber, his entire crew fits on a truck. And, and this this fucking game, like, that's hostage. That's hostage. Oh, God oh, damn it, fuck. that was hostage. You know what? I, start, I keep forgetting that I have to do that. Yeah. I'm just like, let me shoot everything. All right. These, these are Those are hostages, know, but right. that guy. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There okay. Go. All right, all right. Don't don't fire in that room. Get out of that room before you shoot. You know what's out. weird is that they have to run away. Yeah. I just keep feel, feeling like if I touch them, they'll just disappear or something. Yeah. Yeah, but. Um, I actually want to play the. Uh, I heard it's terrible. The Fifth Element video game. By the way, you know what? This makes sense though. Cause have you ever seen me play Red Dead Redemption? Or Dread no, Dakota? actually, you know what? I finally started playing the original for the Xbox. Not Revolver Redemption, the first Redemption. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like it. I hate that the first two hours of that game is follow this person and listen to them talk. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Everyone yeah. told me this game's great. Now that it, like, ten hours into the game, I'm like, oh, now it's fun. Now yeah. that I can, like, walk around. Yeah. I think you could blow up the uh, bathroom, actually. I want, I want to tell you my Red Dead Redemption story. Okay. So... I was playing the game. There's a part in the game where there's like an old woman, yeah. and she's stuck under a horse. <laughs> the The idea is you're supposed to lift the horse and save her. So I go, I go to do that. I'm like trying to be a nice guy. I, I go up to him, try to try to save her. I start Bro. I start lifting the horse. I, I see it. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. Go oh, through. okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to save the old woman from under the horse. I go to lift the horse. Yeah. Um, I failed. I couldn't. I couldn't like get the. I couldn't get the horse off of her. Yeah. She gets herself out from under the horse, and, <laughs> she, and she stands up, and she she goes to me. And she's she's like, you know, like thanks a lot for like saving me. So, uh, oh shit. That's so good. so I took my I took my shotgun and I blew her head off. <laughs> I played the first Red Dead. I got to that. Did you play the mission where you have to gather flowers for the old man's wife? And then when you finally return and get all the flowers, you find out the wife is just a corpse. And he's yeah. Like, I was so goddamn I mad. It was that part of the thing where you have to push the plane like off of the um, the side of the cliff, and then the plane doesn't actually go anywhere. Plane? It just, 
Yeah, well, you, you there's it? no flying. It's just like a dude who's trying to build a plane. Oh, it's like okay. an old school, and then and then you go to at one point push it off, and, I, and there might be a cutscene or something. Yeah. And then I think it just crashes into the ground. It's like a joke. <laughs> um, yeah, I vaguely I might be wrong. No, no, no. There's there's a mission where you have to help an old guy collect flowers for his wife, yeah. and it's like early on, and I'm like going because they're on three whole different parts of the map, and my horse wasn't good yet. So it took me a while to find these goddamn flowers and shit, and then I finally get there. And, like the, the spoil, like the, the the reveal is that it's like a corpse. It's like Norman Bates, his wife is dead. So it's like a point so then so then I just you. like knocked her head off and then I killed him and took all his money. It's <laughs> because I was so mad. I wasted so much time on that mission. Do you guys remember the plane part I'm talking about? Because I'm I'm probably wrong. I I want to remember what the hell that part is. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played the first Red Dead, so somebody probably knows what I'm talking about. Uh. So um. The plane thing reminds me, you ever see the famous video of the guy who tried to make a flight suit jumping off the Eiffel Tower? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. I've seen a lot of old he, uh, footage from like the 20s or 30s. That or guy, that guy was really fly. confident. He should have jumped, you know, like into a river or something. He was like, no, I'm going to jump off the Eiffel Tower. It's like from 1906 or something. The dude died because of course he did. But it's like the funniest video because like it's like 18 frames a second. So it looks like fake. All right, wait, wait. If we can get Mike or Tony to say cunt, I'll give it a cheer and gift sub you if you need it. It's so weird for me to hear Americans say it. Uh, and, that, and that's to Matt Dietz. So Matt Dietz should get a uh, gift sub right now from the yeah. Baldy Bloke. Do he, I have to say it too? Was it Mike also, or Tony? Uh, or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, uh, <laughs> Tony's like, I'm not saying Well, that, that cunt should sub <laughs> yeah, right there now. You go, there you go. So there you go. So he, he I guess that is weird for Americans. I think here it's like a, a badder word than it is in the UK. Badder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's a bad On the list of like word. naughty American words, it's a, a yeah, bad, oh, good I mean, hot dog. Is there, is there, like in Europe, is there a more like awful like term for like vagina? <laughs> or, like what do they, what do they say? I have no do idea. Do they just say, like what do they say in Europe? You tell me chat, what do yeah. they say? But the way it's the way that's meant is more like uh, mean, you know. Yeah, well, I feel like it's like how we say dick. Like ah, that guy's a dick. Yeah, exactly. Ah, what a dick. Yeah. Like no one's offended by the word. Or like a motherfucker. Yeah, like yeah, how he yeah. says, you know, yippee ki, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Do you think he's talking about you when you watch that movie? <laughs> Me personally? Yeah. Yeah, I do. He's like, oh, yippee ki, motherfucker. And you're like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ah! Right. Love... You know what would be better? yippee ki Mike Matei. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, someone who works in TV, please take one of the Die Hard movies <laughs> and subtitle it yippee ki Mike Matei. I'm gonna throw a grenade at these guys. Minge isn't as bad as... What's minge? That's, that's vagina too. Oh. I don't know that one. Do Ninja. you know uh, Mung? No, I don't know that one. Uh, Mung is when you go into a cemetery. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> where, is, where is this going? You dig up a corpse. Oh god. And then you put the corpse on the ground. Then you get, um, you get on top of Shit. a tombstone. And then you then you do a flying uh, elbow drop into the corpse's <laughs> stomach. Wait, what? And, sh what? Sh and, sh and shit flies out of the something like this. Shit flies out of the corpse's ass, and then you got to put your lips on the corpse's asshole. What the fuck? So, Did you just make this up? No, like, no, it's I, no, I didn't. I did not make it up. I will show you that it's real. I feel like you're fucking with me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Here it is, Mung. Broadly defined as anything that's very disgusting. Originally from... That's a lot different than wait, what you wait, just wait, told wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I mean, what you told me is very... No, no, no. Okay, here it is, here it is. One of... Uh, one, first of all, one must have no shame. Then he or she must use a newspaper to find an obituary of recently deceased man or woman. Then find a buddy also with no shame. Oh, my God. Who will aid them in this act. So, like, me and you, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the, the partners then go to the cemetery where they dig up their victim and flip. Oh, I didn't know about this. And then you flip a coin. The loser, or the winner, or the winner, depending on how sick you are, applies his or her, her lips to the genitals of the anus of the corpse, while the other partner produces 
proceeds to climb to the nearest tombstone and elbow drop the corpse's stomach, thus <laughs> forcing out like thus thus <laughs> forcing out a blend of rich bodily fluids and embalming materials onto the partners. This blend is called mung. The oh act of getting God. this blend on your face is called munging. Chicks will dig, dig this one. Oh, Jesus. I told you it's a real thing. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I have like a grenade launcher now. <laughs> but like that means... I, I like the transition. <laughs> but that means I can't until the bullets are out, I can't save any hostages. Don't you have a friend that, tight that owns a grenade launcher? Uh, Justin has a deactivated bazooka that we've used. That's what I meant. I like that Justin... Oh, I killed myself! Fuck! I like that Justin has a bazooka and Ryan has a flamethrower. <laughs> That's... Not, not a flamethrower. Officially oh, titled, not, not a flamethrower. Not a flamethrower. Okay, so Die Hard 1, I think, I think we've come to the conclusion that the, this, is a, this is a Christmas game. Well, you know what? I have an R-Zone. Okay. So I think that's the worst weapon. Of the <laughs> okay. Um, so Di was Die Hard one a Christmas game? We're gonna do Die Hard two next. But I want to know, did you guys think this was a Christmas yeah, game? Yeah, let's what? go through the chat. Did you, what did you guys think? Christmas game or not? Let us know yeah, why. Yeah. Before we go to the next I, game. I think I gave some really good examples. There were a lot of reds and greens and, and lights. Okay, I think the only real example is that the game takes place on Christmas. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Tony's saying yes. What do you guys think? <laughs> I want, the chat the chat will decide. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> All right. Um, Christmas game because you take your shoes off for Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas. That's the German way of saying Santa Claus, I think. Sinterklaas. But what does that have to do with the shoes? Uh, oh, oh yeah. There's that um tradition where like you take your shoes off, you leave it by the door, and Santa puts like candy or something in your shoes. I'm not making that up. That, that doesn't get Yeah, thing. okay. I saw a lot of white people and red blood and blue cars. So, yes, definitely a Christmas game. They, uh, they're saying it's a Christmas movie, but they, not a Christmas game. I think Denial, the Die Hard is, is Christmas, so is Gremlins. Christmas movie, not Christmas. Christmas movie, not Christmas game. German this is, is supposedly the music in the second game that we're going to play yeah. has some more Christmas sounding. Maybe. Music. Tony got it right. There you go. It's a Christmas game simulating Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not a Christmas right, you, game. You sold me on that one. Okay. <laughs> there, there. You know what? I'll settle for it's a Black Friday game. Okay. All right, let's go okay. to Die Hard Let, Let's two. do Die Hard 2, and let's see if that's a little bit more Christmassy for you guys. Die Harder. <laughs> Which I don't know if the movie's officially... I think that it's titled, like, on, like, the box and whatnot, but I don't think the movie... It, the title in the movie, I don't think it says Die Christmas Harder. Christmas game because it has Bruce Willis. There you go. Just there you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, I like the right. Oh, the plane. Yeah, the plane. Yes. Okay. That's because your wife was stuck on a plane. Mm -hmm. That movie's ridiculous. Die Hard 2 used to be the worst until uh, Die Hard 5 I, came I, out. I'm gonna, I, I kind of like that movie. No, no, I like it too, but it's not yeah. that good of a movie, though. Oh, no, well, no. I think there's like a continuity error where like a henchman is in one shot and then it cuts to a different location and he's also in that shot. I think there's <laughs> something weird like that. John Leguizamo's in that movie. So oh, Die Hard 2 has snow. It does have snow. You know what, Die Isn't Hard... Isn't it more near the end? No, 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 the whole movie. Oh, the whole snow. movie is, yeah, Because okay. it's in uh, Washington. But that's not fair. Just because there's... This is snow, by the way. Just because there's no snow in L.A. doesn't mean it's not Christmas time. That looks like shit. What are you snow. talking about? That looks great. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so snow, very Christmassy. This actually looks like the... Oh, my God. Okay, this looks more like Christmas. Yeah. All right. Duels Airport. You know, we're, we're in... Uh, we're well, in... We're in D.C. We're at the airport to be with, you know, a lot of people travel during the Did holidays. this also take place on Christmas Day? Yeah, like, Christmas Eve, yeah. yeah. Christmas Eve. Well, it goes, you know, into the right. night, so. Because he even has a line. It's like, how could the same thing happen to the same yeah, guy twice? Yeah. There's a Ben Stiller skit. It's like yeah. Die Hard 11, yeah. yeah. How could the same thing happen to the same guy like 11 times? Did you, ever watch, you watch the Ben Stiller show? I've know. seen a few clips. Like, I didn't actually watch it live, you but should, I, I've seen a few see clips. The, uh, the Scott, Scotty, the Scotty from Star Trek on there. Oh, and I gotta see that. Ben Stiller's like a, like a pretty diehard like Star Trek fan. Yeah. And he starts um he starts like you know asking him questions about Star Trek and stuff. And at first <laughs> he's he's kind of like just answering questions. He's like yeah 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 you know yeah the warp drive and all that blah blah blah. And then and Ben Stiller keeps asking him questions. And then it cuts like the the time goes by. Yeah. And he's like by the end of it he's like oh you know can we you know, talk about something other than Star Trek. And then he starts getting, like, pissed off. <laughs> it's actually a really funny skit. But anyway, uh, go ahead. Hey, here we go. Hey, look. Look, look at all that uh, holly and tinsel. 
Oh, shit. That's very Christmassy. Okay. Very Christmassy. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna. So the first game was was not. But this game, I'm gonna say, actually is. It's it's a lot more Christmassy. Yeah. Oh my god, that headshot. Yeah. I keep forgetting this is an old style arcade shooter, so I have to like hit a button to reload. Yeah. Or like, or like, sh you know, they used to be like shoot off the screen. Fuck! Now I want to play this uh, with the gun. With the like, I have the light gun. Uh, maybe I'll bring that next time. Yeah. Actually, you know what I have for PS One? Um, area I, Area Fifty One. I could have set this up on the RGB. I mean, yeah. totally could have done it. Damn it! You want to try? Yeah. Uh, shoot, aim, reload. Okay. Thanks. Uh. Basic. What's your call it? Uh, if you ever played Area Fifty One, you probably played it in an arcade. The one where you're at, you fight like the zombies and the aliens. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Area 51 Arcade? Yeah, but oh, they made it... Mung off the screen. <laughs> they made it for PS1, I have it for PS1, and I have a PS1 light gun game. Hopefully it's still... Hopefully my light gun still works. Oh, look at that arcade machine. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking... That was at Todd Tuggies, I think. Um, uh... But yeah, see, like, the, the it was one where, like, the people pop up on the screen, you shoot... I'm trying... Let me just, let me just see game... Uh, is this the gameplay? Yeah. It's it's one of those old style shooters. I don't like know if I played forces. that. To be honest with you, that arcade arcade machine is fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know what? I do remember the marquee. I think I've seen. Let me see this. Yeah. You've I've, definitely seen this in your oh, life. Oh wait. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I think I played that. I want to play that again. Yeah. That's like cool. I said, I, yeah. I have a PS One, and I'll see if the light gun works. That's actually. We'll really bring that cool. over. We'll test it out. Anyway, your your turn. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. So very very Christmassy so far. Uh, it starts to skip now. Was that more of a... That was more of a 90s, I guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Can I shoot these people, or is that... No, 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 no. Okay. Only shoot whoever, like, that target. The, you, they'll, they'll be, like, a purple target over them. Okay. Like, you know who the yeah. bad guy is. But sometimes it's tough, because the hostages are walking in front of them. You shoot the helicopter? No. Don't, don't... <laughs> don't shoot anything unless it tells you to shoot it. All right. I'm a bad day. By the way, this is not how Die Hard 2 starts. Doesn't start with like a cop chasing a taxi cab. That's all I remember. <laughs> Who's the bad guy in that? Uh, Colonel Stewart. I Colonel the... Sanders. <laughs> Colonel Stewart, actually. I forget uh, the guy who plays it. Plays it. Hey, that guy on fire, running on fire, reminds me of level two of Siphon Filter. But... Remember how fucking creepy that the people on fire in Mac and Me was? Oh my god, yeah. Dude, that was fucked up. Have you seen the, what we found in the Japanese version? No. What was uh, that kid got shot in the original cut. A cop trips. Oh, no, yeah, I did see it. shoots him in the it, spine, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, I saw that. I need to watch the new Mystery Science Theater season. They did Mac and me. I kind of like this. I would love to play this with a gun. Yeah. Shit. Oh, there's a way to shoot grenades. I don't know what button it is. Maybe square? I'm not sure. I'll try it. Yep. yep. Okay. It was. Yeah. It was. Maybe. Fair. Maybe wait till there's more people. And... Yeah. But at least I know how to do it now. Yeah. Oh fuck! I shot the motherfucker. Eh, eh, oh, <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean to. Oh, oh my god! Shooting. I'm playing this a different way. The <laughs> <laughs> hostages can you fucking destroy. Hey, hey! Those were Coca-Cola machines. Coca-Cola always has Santa covers on it. Oh, the polar Christmas. bears and shit. Yeah, yeah. Christmas. It's a, guys. I'm feeling the Christmas spirit. I'm going. This I'm, right now. I told you, I'm going with you for this one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Christmas trees, come on. You got oh, Christmas shit, trees yeah, now. Are. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Yo, this is a good game. Yeah, it's good. So did they really see separately? No, or this no, 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 no. Okay. It was always like this, yeah. Okay. I'd actually like to play Die Hard Trilogy 2 to see what that's like. I know you're in, like, Vegas and shit. I'm really good at shooting the hostages. <laughs> That's my specialty. Snowman. Come on. Snowman. <laughs> oh, wait, where? In, in, there? in oh, the yeah. gift oh, yeah, yeah. shop, there is a snowman. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> wait, I didn't even hit square. Oh, you got, a, you got like, a shotgun or something. You got oh, a stronger okay. gun. Holy shit. I actually really like rail shooters. Yeah. There's a uh, Resident Evil one or something. Yeah, I actually have them. I have them. Yeah. I have both of them. Um, I think one of them takes you through the story of the first three games. Uh, you know what rail shooter I have that I love? House of the Dead Overkill. 
that's a House of the Dead game that's made like a Grindhouse movie. Okay. So like each level is like supposed to be like a Grindhouse movie. It's really good. I'm just going to say that I've never played this before and I'm getting a lot further. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I, look, I, I only played this game kidding. once a year, maybe. <laughs> And now, <laughs> you're Fuck. still killing all the hostages. At least, at least I didn't. At least you didn't kill the hostages. <laughs> you, you just, I love it. Goes whoops, <laughs> whoops. It's like that uh, Bible game. Whoops. <laughs> oh, this gun's way better. Typing of the dead. Yeah, that was a good yeah, one. Yeah. Well, you need the keyboard for that. Umbrella then, Chronicles. Yeah, Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles. House of the Dead is so great, and Overkill is so stylish. Yeah, Overkill is amazing. I bought Overkill, like, I didn't know anything about it. I'm like, oh, House of the Dead, I just got a Wii. I got a Wii, like, pretty late. And I'm like, I oh, you know, I, I like House of the Dead arcade games. And you know, I, I got the Wii the day it came out, and yeah. I got it I got it with James. Yeah. And we went home to uh, play the, the uh, Zelda game. I forget what happened, but something, I didn't have something, and I couldn't play the game. Like, a, a like the nunchuck or something? Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe it was that yeah. or something. We couldn't play it. <laughs> and we waited in line for, like, you know, forever. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so upset. Santa. There's a Santa now. Oh my god. Wait, I Come on. It. Yeah. Santa. All right. And it even says Xmas. Oh shit. You, you, you win. Uh, you don't have to defend your position <laughs> anymore. Just, you won it. Just look. Like everyone needs to you're know. Driving, you're driving I'm, it home. I'm tired of defending it myself. <laughs> you know what I hate when people are like, oh, I hate the Die Hard is a Christmas movie people. It's so annoying. I'm like, no, we're only so annoying because you guys didn't listen to us. <laughs> For If you guys would have just said, okay, it's a Christmas movie 10 years ago, we wouldn't be annoying. How about Gremlins? How about Gremlins? Gremlins is a uh, Christmas movie. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, watch this. There's a really sad cutscene where it's like, oh. Oh, Holly's on that plane. All right, I'm gonna say this is a fun game. Um, I like I like the first one. I like the second one so far. Uh, good. For the hell of it, even though the third one's definitely not Christmas. But I you know, I, no, I want to try it. I'll show you the third yeah, one. Yeah, let's see. Third one's a little. Oh, what is this? The third one's not Christmas. Well, the third one wasn't it's on isn't Christmas. Isn't it in the summer? Yeah, it's around. Um, it's actually around the Fourth of July, I think. Okay, I saw that in the theater actually. Die Hard Three is great. I love Die Die Hard One and Three are my favorite. Um. <laughs> I just love it. I love it's all the Bruce Willis yeah. scream. They only had one scream for this movie, uh, the game. So nobody got component cables. Yeah, yeah. We were all 480. Um, well, I have. Uh, I just got the GameCube with the HDMI now, so I can. Get oh, the cool. That way, but. All right. I was playing uh, a little bit. Uh, not on stream. I was playing a little bit of uh, Gauntlet, uh, Le Dark Legacy or whatever, or Gauntlet Legends. You ever play any of those Gauntlet games? I, there was like a Gauntlet for like 64, I think. Yeah, I that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I played, I think I might have played and that. And then there's like the same type of game on GameCube. Oh, uh, okay. Those are, those are kind of cool. Okay, I want to see if they do the Samuel Jackson voice. They betrayed me again, MacLeod. Betrayal. Yeah, I want to, I, I have to tell you, I had, I had the worst dream like a couple nights ago. Yeah. About... <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna laugh at me, but, but like I sometimes have weird fucking dreams. I had a dream a few weeks ago about like an alien, this weird, like escaping from like a like a um, like a hospital and like climbing out a window, and yeah. then it turned into my old school. And, and then I was being chased by no no no, it wasn't being that I was being chased by aliens. It was that there was an alien in the place, and then I found out about it, yeah. and then the me, the people were coming after me because they didn't want me getting out and telling people about right, it. Right, so like the Men in Black or something. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, like a few nights ago, I had this fucking weird ass dream about Ronald McDonald and he was yeah he was like in my house and like I woke I woke up I yeah. was in my bed yeah and I woke up out of the bed you ever have a dream where you wake up and you feel like just for a split second like you see somebody in the room do you ever have something like that yeah 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 but it's like, or like an object like yeah. maybe like you're thinking of like a, a plant or a pair of scissors and then you open your eye and you feel like you see it for a second and then it yeah or it's like a shadow and you yeah, think it, and then yeah, you're like oh wait it thing. takes you like a minute so yeah. this fucking dream I wake up like in a fucking cold sweat out of bed and it's yeah. like for a sec I was some kind of I don't really remember exactly it was some kind of dream about like Ronald McDonald yeah. and we were talking about clowns or like creepy yeah. clowns or whatever but anyway so I wake uh, I had this dream and I, my heart was like pounding and like I don't know, that, that's it. That's all I yeah. so, I don't know. Uh, that would be terrifying. Yeah, yeah. All right, play game. You ever ever have any weird dreams? Um, that you can remember. I'm actually just starting to dream again for the first time because I have like a CPAP and I can actually go to sleep for once. Oh. 
Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Actually, no. I'd have to think Not about it. Many. I've had what you're talking about where I wake up and I'm like terrified. Yeah. Uh, you guys ever have any dreams like that in the chat? Any weird? Like wake up, wake up in a cold sweat or whatever because <laughs> Ronald McDonald's coming after you? <laughs> whatever. All right, where? Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. New York's all gone. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay, let me try this again. By the way, thanks again for, uh, to the Baldy Bloke for the uh, gift subs. Um, if you guys get a gift sub from anybody, please remember to say thank you to the person who did that. We appreciate that. Mm. There's the bomb. Okay. I remember watching Die Hard with a Vengeance on network cable TV. John was walking through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that part. Ghost of Ronald's Boom. Boom. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> remember, in Die Hard 3, you were looking for uh, bombs. Yes. I mean, they had to do, like, a complicated system to disarm the bombs. They weren't just running over goddamn bombs. With that their... was a crazy sequence when he's going through. Doesn't he go central, through Central Park with the taxi cab or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should watch that again. I like that That's movie. a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> Frank and Funk says, I once had a dream that it was raining chairs. <laughs> started with... Started with little lawn chairs and then progressed into those giant thrones and destroyed my house. <laughs> Man, that's a crazy dream. Um, shit, 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 shit. There we go. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Oh, fuck. Let me try it again. It's, it's real tough. You can also change the view of the car. You can go inside. Uh. That Samuel Jackson. The Samuel Jackson voice is just whoever they got to do the Bruce Willis voice. It's the same thing. Yeah, it sounds like the same actor just going, turn that up here. Oh, now I'm a police car. Huh. I think they have a police car in the movie, too. Yeah, they probably do. Damn it. Yeah, this one, the car is real clunk. Let me, let me try this one more time. So is this more of just like a driving thing? Yeah. Okay. You drive, you got to blow up uh, the stuff, and there's Jeremy Irons being real happy. Speaking of, um, like, sleeping and stuff, like, you got to watch, I've been telling everyone that The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix is one, of the, oh, yeah, yeah, tell me about one of the scariest things I've seen in years. And they have, like, scenes like that where the one girl has sleep paralysis. And, like, she wakes up and there's, like, dark figures in her room and she can't move. And I'm like, ah! Is it, like, serious or is it... No, like... no, it's super serious. Um, it's my favorite modern horror director. This guy, Mike Flanagan. That's he, cool. he did uh, Oculus, Hush. He's, he's... Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I actually... I like Oculus. Oculus yeah. was good, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hush was good. Um, oh, I haven't seen Hush. Last year he did Gerald's Game, which is, like, a Stephen King book, which was really good. And uh, he's doing the... It's technically a sequel to The Shining, but it's based off, like, the book sequel to The Shining. I don't think it's going to be... A direct sequel to the movie but it's about like growing up Danny Torrance and Hugh McGregor as being it but like I initially I was like a sequel to The Shining that's a stupid idea but now that it's this director but yeah um, Haunting a Hill House on Netflix I'm not really scared of a lot of things and this thing scared me so goddamn well. like I was terrified to stay in my like uh, apartment by myself for like three weeks you'll be, you're gonna be scared with that stream you're gonna have to do <laughs> yeah with Superman 64 yeah I'm gonna be terrified um, but no, Haunting Hill House, the cool thing that's in it, um, they hid secret ghosts in every episode. So you could be watching, like, a scene, and it's just like, oh, god damn it. There's a boost? Is there a boost? Somebody's saying there's a boost? There probably is, but the, my issue right now is trying to angle the car. So yeah, in Haunting Hill House, there could be a scene where, like, just, like, a mom and dad are, like, talking casually, nothing scary, and in the background, you'll just see a ghost standing in the hallway. They, like, don't uh, draw attention to that's it. That's cool. It's so fuck. it scares me so much. And it's fun to look for when you're watching the show. God damn it. But then afterwards, like, when I'm, when I'm in my apartment, I kept thinking I was gonna see, like, faces and shit. Like, in my hallway, and I'm like, oh, I gotta stop watching that goddamn show. Do you have to, uh, like, follow the radar? Like, what do you yeah, have to do Yeah, the, the blue arrows lead you to the bombs, but the car is just hard to handle. Okay. So that worked right there? Yeah. Okay. Try not to do that again! All right, I guess I'm just... I want to try this, and I'm just trying to understand yeah. exactly what you're doing. So I'm following the so north one. Okay, that's turbo. Slow down. 
Okay, circle is turbo, I think. Ah! God damn it, and I overshot it. We're gonna die! <laughs> God. We're gonna die! So you gotta follow the blue arrows. You have to do it really quickly, huh? Yeah, there's like you like you you saw that you can like stop and get like extra time. Alright, you got but, one. Is it three? Or is there more than three that you have to defuse? Uh what what is the turbo? It is circle. Okay. God damn it, I overshot it again! God damn it! It's such a clunky piece of shit. This one's not the fun one to play. The first two die hard. Oh, and I just killed all those people, god damn it. Ah. Back up. God, god damn you. Alright. Do you have any driving games that you like? Um Twisted Metal 2. Okay. I love Twisted Metal games. We could do that. Uh I don't know if you have that. I saw Twisted Metal 3 and 4 I, here. Two, oh, I, you mean the, uh, the second one? Yeah, yeah, I have two. I might. You ran over 20 people, but you saved 21 people from blowing up. Score! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this. Let's see. What are the controls and shit? Just like. Uh, I think action. you just use the arrow keys. I was hitting X, but I don't know if okay. that did anything. Circle, I think, is turbo. Alright, so, let's see. So, I guess follow that red arrow right, right. now. And then the blue arrow eventually <laughs> shows you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's real clunky. Yeah, actually it's. It is. Huh. This, is, this is not GTA driving here. This is like pre G. This is when GTA was still like 2D games, I think. Oh, shit. So is that good? No. I thought that's what you were doing. I think the red arrow is like the main bombs, then the blue arrows are like the smaller bombs, maybe? It's like follow that cop car. Can you back? Wait, how do you back up? It's just the back, the, the directional pad and back. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's weird. It's so weird to play this coming off of like. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto. Alright, so those are the red bombs. The blue bombs are the ones that are cars. Did I just do that? That was good? Yes. Now go into that parking lot. That's where one of the blue cars is. Back up. Yeah, see when he gets yeah, the... Yeah, it's like, oh man. Yeah, this control... <laughs> what the like, hell? That like glitched and dropped you back. All right, I'll follow the red arrow. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, at the time they were making this, Grand Theft Auto was still like a top-down 2D. I can imagine when this came... Oh, do I have to get to turn the... Left, turn left, turn okay. left, turn left. Okay. I think follow... Uh, back in here? There, there is a bomb there, but I think the main bomb is... No, I'm trying to get the red now, basically? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Think I think the red ones are the ones that are time-sensitive, and right. the blue ones... I'm, g I'm good on this, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Turn left up here! Turn left up here! I feel like this was probably real good when it came out, but I feel like... Oh, this must have been amazing when it came yeah, out. Yeah, I feel like after playing more recent driving games. Yeah. It's kind of like it's the like, controls are kind of um, funky. No game I really I really like the last uh the Mad Max game they made a few years ago. There's some really good car stuff in that. What was that for? Uh that everything like PS4, okay. Xbox. Really good, especially if you're into Mad Max. There's a lot of like deep Mad Max stuff in that. I think Crazy Taxi killed this game pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, you have any um, Dreamcast games that you heard? No, I was I wasn't yeah, a Dreamcast yeah, I didn't, guy. I didn't have it either. Ugh. Why is the third Die Hard movie my favorite? I don't know. People really like it. I think it's it's the original director from the first one coming back. Uh, it's something fresh. It's new because Die Hard Two was pretty you know repetitive. It's like oh another terrorist group and on Christmas. Okay, so the, bl the blue arrow always go points us back to that parking lot. You keep, for some reason, keep going back there for no reason. Oh, okay. So we don't have to, I guess, go to that. I guess that's just to switch cars, maybe. Oh. Because you know, every time we go in there, we come back with a different car. But there's like an explosion or something. That's why I got confused. Ha <laughs> ha, you ran over six dudes. <laughs> or that, that dude six times. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was like hitting that guy like a soccer ball. <laughs> Anyhow, I think we I think we answered our uh, yes. Still four subs four subs left for oh are you doing a certain amount Baldy Glow? Mm -hmm. um, oh no! I think we answered our question for the yeah. Christmas movie though. This is not a Christmas movie. This the, the second game is the most Christmas movie. The first game right. I'm going for not. Okay, I'm so sorry. 
So one out of three. That's I guess it's not a Christmas game. Damn. Well, the, well, you'll have to find out if the movie is. <laughs> <laughs> right. The movie is a Christmas movie. Die Hard trilogy, maybe not a Christmas game. It's kind of a Christmas game. My there issue with Die Hard Two is that everything's so disconnected. You have John at the airport. You have John's wife in the plane. And then you have terrorists taking over a church. How far away is the church? It always seemed just yeah. To me. It's not. It's not as good as the first one. Yeah. All right, we are going to switch to another game. Going to take a quick yes. break, and we will be back with more more action. Awesome. <laughs> minutes. Oh, by the way, notice how I said we'll be back with more action, not Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>